preparation for the carrot and papaya soap. Okay, what I'm doing now is pouring my oils into the bucket. The oils are at 200 degrees. Once I pour the oil, and I will add my lye mixture. To make soap, it requires an alkaline and acidic product. The oil is acidic and the lye is alkaline and the soap will go through a process called suspinification. So now I'm pouring in the lye and I, um, aloe water and my other secret ingredients that's inside. This is the Sharon Johnson's hot process. And yes, I love it. I, I make This is the only way I make my soaps now. I'm checking the temperature of my lye water. Well, my lye aloe water. It will get hot as you stir. You see, it jumped up. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then I'm going to pour that right into the 200 degree. You'll see it get, you see that? Wow. Yeah, you have to stir to let some air in too, so that the foaming volcano can slow down. So now I'm cooking soap. The Sharon Johnson hot process method um, takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on the ingredients I find. Sometimes it takes me about 15 minutes. I'm using a palm free formula from Sharon. You need some muscles for this ladies. So the heat is building up within the product. You don't need a stove, it's a countertop stick blender and that is the ingredients that will go in after the cook. That's my papaya and carrot with papaya seed. And I have carrot juice, 100% carrot juice and fresh carrots. So now I'm about to cover up. In a few minutes, I'm stirring. I'll stick blend to build up the heat again in the product. The covering up is going to seal in the heat. Once I stick blend it, I'll cover it up and you will see me go through multiple volcanoes until it cook. It will go through stages from saucy to applesauce to Vaseline. Once I get to Vaseline, then we're done. So you'll start seeing it rise up. I have to build that heat up. Okay, so I'm about to use my stick blender in a few. I like this bucket because you can see through. I do have one a little clear, but I like this one the best so I can see. Okay, so it's not moving, so I'm going to stick blend. Mm -hmm. And pulsating, pulsating, I'll pulsate the blender, the stick blender. Now you can see it bubbling. And it's actually cooking based on the temperature of the oil and the lye water. Okay, you also want to wear your safety wear. You see me with long sleeve shirt, gloves, eyewear, and a mask. Because we're dealing with lye and it's not cooked out yet, I like to protect myself, and you should protect yourself. But after 10 minutes, after the cook, the lye is gone. You can see how hot it is. It's bubbling. This method is awesome. It's like um, a new thing for soap makers. Once you master, this is an advanced math method. You see the applesauce is turning into applesauce right now. But once you master the hot process method, especially the Sharon Johnson method, I do recommend you go on to Soapery of Sharon. Sharon Soapery. It's in Florida. She has an e-book I paid for. And um, it was worth every penny. I learned a lot of things uh, from the book. It's a short book, but it's very knowledgeable. And it helped my business. So reach out to her and purchase the book or go to her studio and take a one-on-one -on -one class. So it's rising, a volcano. You see the steam. And I'm going to, you know, when you use your whisk or stick blender that allow air to come in and then the volcano goes down. Cover it back up. You want to build that heat up again. And this will repeat for the next 10 to 15 minutes, the whole process and then the soap will be done when you see the Vaseline stage, then you can add in the good stuff. I think it goes through about five or six times before it's done. Could be seven depending on the ingredients. Okay, I'm just mixing with the whisk. Applesauce. It looks like applesauce. You see the oils, it still needs to cook. I need to build up that heat again, I'm gonna use the stick blender. The palm free method, you need a little more muscle. Um, I love to use the palm oil. It's much faster when I have it, you know, but I didn't have it and some of my soaps I just go without the palm oil. Palm oil give you a harder bar and um, more fluidity in your soap. Look at that, this is amazing. I remember when I first started making soap about five, six years ago 
like within my first year, I tried the hot process. I never did that again until I found out Sharon's method of her super fat and at the end of the cook and, you know, using the yogurt and the different things to get the fluidity that you need to be able to color and swirl and do different things with your soap. I'm thankful for that. And I, I oh, believe me, it was hard to learn this. You see, it's kind of thick and that's due to me using uh, palm free, but it will become fluid again once I add in my um, super fat ingredients and things like that. Okay. I'm just securing that a little more tighter. While I'm waiting on that, you know, soap making is so relaxing. It's an awesome craft. You control your ingredients and everything you're putting on your body. I fell in love with this. It's like my passion. And especially the Sharon Johnson method. I love it. Okay, all right. You have to be patient in the process. Believe it or not, this all takes about 12 to 15 minutes. I'm scraping down the sides. You want to make sure everything gets inside and cook so you won't have any lye in your soap. Gotta have a strong arm. And again, this is a palm-free method, a formula, palm-free formula. It's a little more stiffer than the palm formula, recipe rather. I want to get that heat built up again. Make sure it's done. Don't be scared of the process. See, it's still bubbling. So as long as it keeps rising like this, you know it needs to continue to cook. And you might have to help it along with the stick blender. It's called the countertop stick blending method. No stove. Only when you heat the oil to 200. I try to go a little over 200 because by the time you pour everything in, it cools down. You see how it's rising up again? It's not done. That's why I continue with the stick blender. Believe me, when I first started doing this, I had a lot of volcanoes. <laughs> but I love the adrenaline of mixing it down. It's almost done. You start to see a Vaseline shiny look. So normally this soap will sit um, to dry out maybe 10. I let mine sit about 10 days before I sell it. But it's ready immediately. I've used it immediately once it get hard enough. I don't like to sell my bars too soft. You'll see it's starting to look uh, Vaseline. Uh, you see the greasy, shiny, but it's still bubbling. I mean, it's not done yet. See? But you also can see the shininess in there. It's almost ready. Thick. And most of my clients, they use the, the papaya and carrot soap for their face. It's good for so many things with this tone and the complexion. And inf, uh, carrots is good for inf, inflamed skin or acne prone skin. And you see how the consistency changed? This is the Vaseline stage. This is what you want. That's when you know your soap is done. After it's done, I let it sit a few seconds to be sure. nice and creamy now the lye is gone at this point soap is good um, at 9 a pH of 9 and lower is safe for the skin and but as the soap cures the pH level drops so now these are my super fat ingredients that I'm gonna add after the lye is gone that's what I love about this method you're adding everything I already cooked all the lye out of the soap so now I'm going to add in the most important part of the soap and that is, that's my papaya and carrot, my yogurt for the sodium lactate. I have apple cider vinegar. Uh, that helps lower the pH even lower, plus apple cider vinegar is awesome for the skin and for the body. This is about seven pounds of soap. This is a seeds from the papaya. It's going inside, I blend everything together. Let it sit for a couple minutes, seconds, and then I'll add in everything, let the temperature drop down a little. Those are my molds. Okay, see, it's really waxy looking now. Mm -hmm. 
That's soap. Now I will add in my yogurt. That helps with the fluidity to give this soap that loose, easy to pour. You see how it loosened up? I have to stir really fast because you don't want the yogurt to cook. You need it for the sodium lactate and it helps with fluidity. And it's good for the skin. Okay. You can add coloring, different herbs, different things uh, to the base once it's cooked. You see how fluid? Of course, with the palm, it's way more fluid, but this is awesome for my specialty soap. This is a specialty soap. That's my ACV. Help lower the pH of the soap. And now, my papaya, carrot, and my secret formula for my papaya and carrot soap. Now, and this one is all natural. I'm not using any fragrance or colorant. Everything is natural from the fruit and the vegetable, the carrot. And the papaya seed is good for exfoliating and tightening. Papaya is awesome for the skin. Look, I want to get it all out. Nice color. All natural. Made by Mrs. Butterfly Soaps at 2 Orange Street in Bloomfield, New Jersey. 07003. Love Miss Butterfly Soaps dot com. Look at that. That's a nice color. Well, another good thing about the hot process, you can add how much you would like at the end of the cook. Look at the fluidity now. It looks like a palm base. It's not. This is a palm free batch. And based on all of the stuff that I put in, it gives it that fluid. So you can pour it. If I wanted to do multiple colors, I would be able to do that. But like I said, this is my specialty line. The bars are $10 a bar. Now who wouldn't want to pay $10 for something awesome like this? Handcrafted soap. Look at it. That is awesome. Okay. If you were going to fragrance it, this would be the time. And my mold. And I also use a small mold on the, a mold on the side for anything left. For small bars, people want to try they around five dollars. See, look at that. So fluid. My first hot process, I couldn't even get it out the bowl. So this is definitely an advancement. A step up. Yes. Tap tap for the bubbles. Okay, now I'm going to fill up the other mold. Mm, this is awesome. Before I used to make my soap and they used to have to sit for 8 to 10 to a year, depending on the formula. Now I can make my soaps and use them right away or within a week. A week to 10 days. But like I tell everyone, the older the soap, the better. Soap is like wine. The pH level drops the older it is. But to have clean skin, you want your soap to be between an 8 and a 9. The alcohol is just going to get rid of any ash that may form on the soap. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. Handcrafted soap by Mrs. Butterfly Soaps. So I'll take this little heart mold and make smaller bars for the people who don't, you know, just want to try it. They are $5 a bar. All natural colorant, which is straight from the carrots and the papaya. Okay. We're going to fill up each cavity with what's left. And look how long it's staying fluid. It's awesome. Well, we like to show these videos so people can see actually what we're doing. 
and knowing that we actually make the soap. This is no melt and pour. This is actually called the hot process method, countertop fluid hot process, Sharon Johnson's method of making soap. I've, I've learned, when I first started, I learned um, cold process. I never was a melt and pour kind of girl. I like, um, I use melt and pour for certain things, but when I'm doing like my little ornaments sometime that I want to decorate, but I prefer hot process over anything and cold process will be my second method. If we do melt and pours for classes, quick stuff, but my baby is the hot process. I love it. And I know I keep talking about Sharon Johnson's soapery of Sharon's, but it really, without her method, I don't think I would be where I am right now with my business. Thank you, Sharon.